We're now joined by FC Tucson head coach John Perlman. John, your thoughts on the match tonight? Yeah, just uh, as gritty a performance as you could possibly want. What a what a physical and mental effort from the group. Three matches in seven days. You know we've. We have had, you know, so many injuries, so many guys out, and the guys who played tonight played so hard and so clinically in the system. And uh, obviously, Carlos stepped up in those those key moments. We had to have him. Uh, I give Charlotte full credit. They were also on three and seven days, and some of those last second blocks really forced us to go all the way into that injury time with without the match in hand because we countered beautifully, and they just we just couldn't quite get that that second goal. Um, I just I'm so proud of them. They've suffered so deeply. You know, especially at home with uh, some good performances and not being able to get across the line. And, you know, for us, this is a real motivator going into hosting the champions next Sunday. And we have some time to recover and reflect. Um, but um, it was a tough week. I mean, we really wanted those three points in Central Valley. But for them to come after, off, off of that and that unfortunate result, unfair result, and come back here and, and perform just shows you the character of this team. And I've always said I've been so proud of that. And I'm glad I was able to, to shine through tonight. You kind of just talked about but how um, impressive is it to get a clean sheet after giving up three goals just, just a couple of days ago? Yeah, absolutely. I think the defense has been overall very good. And, and you can see in the critical moments here, there were some big blocks and some big saves made. But um, for me, it's they've, they've, they've logged a lot of minutes, you know, um, and uh, especially Luca Master Antonio playing, not feeling great tonight. I mean, a third 90, Jake Kroll, Kalen Fox, I mean, Tarn Weir, you've, these guys have put in so many minutes and so much physical effort. You can see they're running and sprinting and getting to the ball first all the time, and Donnie Toya as well. But the entire team was excellent tonight. Franco Perez, Fernando on the goal, being being there, being the big body, and then the guys coming in, you know, who weren't even at full strength just to come in to give us a couple minutes, to give us a chance to seal the match. Um, massive, massive defensive performance. And Carlos really has been, one for me, one of the best keepers in this, this second half of the season. The first 10 games, you know, we didn't give him a lot of help, and I, his statistics should be better than they are. He's been absolutely tremendous. How about Fernando hit, um, to get that goal in his first start in a while? Has he been hurt? Or? No, I think for Fernando, again, it's finding the form. You know, he had the uh, the red card in Richmond, and, you know, he he'd, he'd struggled a little bit with his confidence and his, his play, and, but he had improved each game. Again, I thought he had a good performance in North Carolina. Um, Central Valley, he was able to, to come up. But, again, for me, it was uh, – you know, really for him, it was again the effort. He held the ball up really well for the first 60 minutes of the game. I think he got a little tired because he hasn't had that full 90. But again, a really good performance from everybody, including him. And like I said, it took everyone tonight. Everybody, you could pick a key moment from each player where they came up really big. Um, and, you know, Tyler Moss, again, his first start in a while to put in 90 against Mbuyu on that side and be able to keep him having that. I mean, this is the most one of the most dangerous attacking teams, if not the most dangerous in the league. And, and to give, put a clean sheet out on them is just a tremendous performance. John, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.